the optimizer could update the activation output from this layer, right? Well, actually not directly because the activation output from this layer is a direct function of these weights to the left of it with this activation output from this layer. So if we want to influence the activation output from this layer here, then we can't do it directly, but indirectly we can by taking a step backwards to this previous layer and then updating all of these weights. So we can just quickly change the color of these weights here to reflect them as being the ones that are being updated now. So again, same story here to influence the activation output of this layer, then the gradient descent optimizer will need to hop backwards one more time to update the values of these weights in order to influence the activation output in the next layer. So we can see gradient descent is jumping backwards from right to left, layer to layer, updating the values of these weights in order to influence the probability output that is output from our network here at the end. We're trying to decrease the incorrect classes while we increase the probability assigned to the correct class.